The watch I probably wore the most, literally in terms of days and weeks and months, is this one over here. And it may look like a day just from afar, but it's actually a date. The date, though still a chronometer tested movement, is smaller in diameter. We would actually probably even call it medium size in today's catalogs. And I think that watch has been with me for plus minus 20 years. And I would think it was about 2002, like literally 20 years ago, that I really believe half of the year that was my first go-to watch. First and foremost, I never felt because it is a few millimeters smaller than the day just that I missed out on anything. It is more comfortable, believe me. It is sitting nicer on the wrist. And what I couldn't resist about is that super cool radial 70s dial. Now, I, I always said it's the first impression that makes you pick up a watch and love it. But what I also realized quite early on when I checked it out, it is a 2.8 million serial. And when I found out the 2.8 million serial is the same year that I am, um, now I let the Rolex geeks figure out how old I am, um, I thought it was particularly fun to me to know that we were born at around the same time. Just the notion of knowing we're both the same age, I guess this reference 1500 date has probably aged better than I did, um, but it's reminding me what the world, at least the horological world, looked like when I was born. Yeah, we had radial dials, we had 70s dials, we had orange hands. That's the watch I wore the most, and I can really tell you it's, and now no offense taken, dear um, 1518 and 2499 community, but that's as much watch one really can ask for and seriously need on a daily basis. A chronometer tested movement, a magnified date, waterproof case, self-winding, sturdy, reliable. It looks okay in t-shirt, it looks okay in denim, it looks okay in a suit. So that, that's been the most on my wrist.